Hello guys, welcome to another quick tip tutorial. Today we will work with Illustrator and Maya where we will create paths um, from Photoshop and use them as a 3D extrude uh, path. First of all we start Photoshop and then we create a new text, whatever you like. If you have a, a finished logo you can import it to Photoshop or if you have a an illustrator file already you can just use that for importing in Maya. So first of all you create a text and you write whatever you want like so. Choose your font and if you are happy with your font you can then just you have to remember to convert it to a work path. That's a bit thin. Something like this. Then you can right click on your text layer in Photoshop and say convert to work path. Then on the path there's a new path created which you can export to Illustrator by export paths to Illustrator. It will look into your paths layers and then you can just export it. Rename this to whatever was IE logo. And then you can look it up in Illustrator if you're happy, if it's all correct. Probably you have your logo already from your designer or I'm not sure. And then you can see it's here. So work perfectly, everything is correct. Then you open up Maya, click on File, Import, and choose Illustrator file, and then choose the OS logo, Import, and then it's imported into Maya. It's not always correctly at, at, at the zero point in the scene because of the file size in Photoshop. So if you're not happy with the position, you can just reposition it. Um, like so. Center it or just snap it to the grid. It should also like this, then you have it centered. So now the interesting part begins. You can select, or first I turn off the grid. These are all now groups from your curve, uh, from your text. It's automatically created. Okay, and then you go in, under the surfaces menu. You can go into Surfaces, Bevel Plus, open the option box, and then you can um, set your bevel styles. I like this one very much. This one here is pretty nice. And then somehow you cannot select all text layers together and bevel it. You have to manually go to each one. And I just hit now G for repeat last move. And then you have your 3D bevel of that. You can select now each of these, go into the channel box, and it should work that you now set the width for everything in the channel box. Change the depth, extra depth, like so. If you're not happy with this, you can run it, just be sure to use it as high res as you need it because they are very um, very detailed meshes after the beveling. So be sure to check that for performance issues. And then you can just apply textures, render it. I quickly can show it in Maxwell. Assign new material, let's say Maxwell lay material. And then you can quickly make a chrome or something like that. Roughness 2 and then open up fire. Be sure to check into my website where you will find in interesting blog articles, news and new trainings which I created and even see my portfolio. Thanks for watching.